Hello, and welcome to this Apex SQL source control video, where we'll show one of the options specifically related to the shared development model, the database change log option. When working in the shared model, it is essential that the entire team is aware of any changes made against a database in real time. This prevents two or more developers from working on the same object, which could result in a change made by one developer being overridden by another. Two features that provide a convenient means to identify database changes in real time are the Action Center tab, as well as the Object Status icon, itself in the Object Explorer pane. In addition, Apex SQL Source Control provides the Log Changes option that will log all changes, no matter if they are committed to the repository or not. The Log Changes option is located in the Add-in options under the Administrator tab. From the moment of enabling the Log Changes option, any DDL change will be logged. In order to review log changes, we'll use the Database Change Log option from the Object Explorer context menu. This initiates the Database Change Log form, which will be empty since we have just enabled the option to log changes and didn't make a change yet. As a starting point for this video, we have linked the same database to the subversion repository using the shared model from three different machines whose users are John, Steve, and Patrick. All database objects are initially committed to the repository. Now that we have enabled the log changes option, let's make some changes from John's machine and check the database change log form after that. We'll execute the following script. Let's make some changes from the other two machines as well. By refreshing the Action Center tab, a list of changed objects appears. Let's navigate to the database change log form again. All changes made after the log changes option has been enabled will be listed in the database change form, followed by the exact date and time when the change is made, who made the change, and which object is changed. In addition to this, highlighting any change listed will give the exact DDL script that was executed. All listed items can be filtered using the filter row. For example, we can filter changes by date or filter out changes made by a specific user. For example, if we specify Patrick in the filter row for the user column, all changes made by Patrick will be shown. Another example is when there is a need to explore who changed a specific object. In that case, we'll just type the name of the object in the filter row in this case, the invoices table, and get all the users who changed the specified table with the exact time and date when the change was made. This approach has an alternative, because when investigating changes for the specific object, instead of browsing through the database change log, we can use the object change log option. To access the object change log form, we'll right-click on a specific object and choose the object change log option from the context menu. This initiated the object change log form, which includes changes related to the selected object only, in this case, the invoices table. When the log changes option is disabled, all previously logged changes will not be affected. Let's disable it temporarily. Assessing the same form again shows that changes are not affected in any way and can be reviewed in the same way as when the Log Changes option is enabled. The only difference is, after disabling the option, new changes will not be logged, or shown in the database change log form. Once the Log Changes option is enabled again, the new changes will be listed in the database change log form. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.